Hello there, Virgo. Thank you for stopping by for your tarot forecast for the week of December 22nd through the 28th. I am using my Russian tarot of St. Petersburg once again this week. And so let's just jump right in. On Monday, what we have coming up for you is the Hierophant. Now, the Hierophant speaks of old traditions. On um, Monday, I don't know, it seems like kind of a strange day for that. I'm used to seeing weddings on the weekends, but it feels like some of you Virgos are going to be involved somehow in a wedding on Monday. Um, but also, there are other traditions. I do feel like um, for all of you, there's going to be some kind of traditional thing that you're involved in on Monday. Now, traditional things can be something as simple as going Christmas caroling. It is Christmas season. That's an old traditional type thing. Um, other traditions are like if there's a certain group of friends that you get together with every time at Christmas season, then that would be a tradition. So you may be um, doing any number of Christmas traditions. Maybe you still do popcorn the old-fashioned way and string it together with your family before Christmas. And maybe on Monday you'll be stringing popcorn. I don't know. Um, all kinds of traditions floating around at Christmas time. So it doesn't surprise me at all that that's coming up, that there are that there is something definitely very traditional that you're doing on Monday. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be involved with Christmas. That's just kind of where I'm kind of focused. <laughs> Thinking about Christmas a lot. All right, so let's see. Virgo Tuesday, two of swords in reverse. This just means you have a decision to make that you're procrastinating on. You're trying to be as fair as you possibly can. That's a typical mode of operation for you. But you're not feeling like you necessarily have enough information to make this decision in a fair way. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so what you really kind of need to know here on Tuesday is that you're never going to have enough dis information to make yourself feel like you can make this decision fairly. You're going to have to really kind of tune in to um, your instinct, your gut instinct, to make this decision in the long run. Okay, so next Wednesday, Christmas Eve, Three of Clubs creativity but it's coming in reversed and this time it feels like it's coming in reverse because there is some kind of shared activity going on that's a creative activity now when I say a shared activity that hasn't come up a lot on these videos yet but a shared experience or a shared activity when sometimes when a card comes in reverse sometimes it means it's a shared thing and so um, this just means that you're not the only person in this situation so an example of a shared activity is, let's see, let's say you're taking a class in law enforcement. Okay, so I could get a card that's saying that, you know, you're furthering your education. Or I could get a card that, says, that comes in reverse that says you're furthering your education, and that would mean you're furthering your education along with some other people. Well, everybody in that class would be somebody who you would share that experience with. So that would be a shared experience. So that's one example of a shared experience, would be a classroom situation where there's a lot of people doing the same thing at the same time, generally. Okay, so three of clubs, though, is not so much about education. This is about doing something that's creative. So maybe you're making a gingerbread house, or maybe you are decorating sugar cookies or uh, whatever. You know, something it might be Christmas related, it might not. But on Christmas Eve, I do see you doing something creatively along with some other people. Shared experience. All right, so Thursday... Page of Cups in Reverse. Now, Page of Cups in Reverse is actually still a very sweet card. It's just not quite the same as the Page of Cups. Um, the reason it's not the same is because instead of receiving a message of love, when we have the Page of Cups in Reverse, we're giving a message of love. So, Christmas Day, we are going to be letting people know that we love them. Maybe you Virgos are going to be making some phone calls. Maybe this is going to be in person. Maybe you're going to send out some emails. But you're just going to send out that communication of, I love you to some people on Christmas Day. Not so surprising, really. Now, <laughs> the day after Christmas, this is comical. I have the Eight of Coins showing up reversed. Not working the day after Christmas. I see you, Virgos, not working the day after Christmas. I see you taking some time off. <laughs> Another pretty obvious thing. For those of you who celebrate Christmas, usually we don't have to go back to work, huh? Okay, so, uh, and for those of you who do 
or I said for those of you who do celebrate Christmas, usually we don't have to go back to work, but for those of you not celebrating Christmas, I still see this as a day of um, playing hooky, or if you go to work, accomplishing absolutely nothing, just having a good time and chilling out and, you know, maybe maybe the boss is out of town and you guys are just goofing off, spitting spitwads at each other in the office, who knows? But if you do go to work, I don't see much getting accomplished on Friday. I see it to be a relaxed time. Saturday, Virgo, Ace of Swords, in reverse. Now, this just means that on Saturday, you're passing along some good ideas to some people in your life. This can be anything from teaching your son how to tie his shoe, all the way along to giving somebody advice on how to tolerate their stepmother that will not leave until after New Year's. <laughs> and anything in between. Okay, so let's see on Sunday. Virgo, King of Coins. Sunday you're feeling pretty good. You're kind of looking back at Christmas and you're going, you know what? I did pretty good about staying in my budget, staying on target. I'm okay. I don't feel like I'm in debt to the credit card company for the next six months now. And, you know, for you Virgos who are very organized, that does not surprise me that you would feel that way at all. I would love to feel that way after Christmas. <laughs> all right, so Virgos, that is your week. For anybody who would like to have a private session with me, please feel free to contact me. and Well, check out my website first. Make sure I'm the best reader for you. Um, that's amista.info, A-M-I-S-T-A dot I-N-F-O. Once you have found out for sure whether you think I'm the best reader or not, go ahead and get in touch with me. There's lots of ways to do that there. And then we can schedule your session as quickly as possible. And then for the rest of you, I will see you next week. Everybody have a wonderful week and a magical Christmas for those of you who celebrate it. And to all of you, I wish nothing but peace, peace, peace.